this is wild 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 oh my god it's just <laughs> insane it's hard to explain unless you try it so apple vision pro i'm sure you guys have seen all the videos online at the moment you've seen it on your feed at some point some way somehow whatever so I've got one as well, I actually got it shipped in and um, it's been a journey trying to get it set up for one, we'll talk about that. Uh, but this video is not so much about me walking on the street and seeing people's reactions and all that kind of stuff. Stuff that you've seen already, uh, it's not so much of me going through the specs and all that kind of stuff, but it's more like a speaking out loud about this product to see how I feel about it. So, you know sometimes when you have to speak out loud, say your thoughts out loud, then it's some sort of like accountability where you go, well, Apple Vision Pro, this costs 3000 plus. Do I want to keep it? Do I have bias remorse yet after using it for a bit now? Am I bored of it yet? Is it worth keeping or just returning it? Well, let's talk about it. To begin with, remember the first ever iPhone that came out, the iPhone 3G. And when that came out, in the UK at least, there's no internet unless you use Wi-Fi or you subscribe to O2 Network here uh, or Telefonica. I don't know what you guys might know it as. Unless you subscribe to the Edge Network, which then allowed you to use the internet on the go. It didn't use, it didn't have MMS, for example, you can send picture messaging. The pixel count for the picture was small, small screen. And you didn't even have an Apple's app store. So there's no apps on the phone. All you can do is make phone calls, text message, and it costs so much money yet people wrote it off people were like this will never go far you know all that kind of stuff and yet here we are I've got the iPhone 15 Pro Max somewhere there so you can see how far we have come along and people love this phone today we have uh, a core base fan base fanboys who loves this phone to the core where am I going with this the point is the Apple Vision Pro is exactly one of those devices where it's new it's not for everyone it's expensive and it's the first time for Apple to actually step out of their comfort zone a little bit, just to do something a little bit different and something that's actually exciting as well, because it's been a while since me personally, I've been excited about technology in general, about something that's product based, not just so much of like, you know, AI and all that kind of stuff. But this excites me because there's so much you can do with this. The future is bright for this. I've even had uh, some professionals in here, including a doctor, a surgeon in here who's used it and give me some thoughts about how this could be used in the medical field. So for me, this is a really exciting product. But that still doesn't stop me from thinking though, is this useful right now? Am I just wasting my money? Well, when it comes to the design, this is well built. It's in fact so solid. I love the material that's used. The way that you even adjust the headband is different from what's on the market right now. The buttons are well placed. It's very Apple-esque. It's easy to just detach things. It comes with this battery pack that's kind of heavy and lasts about two and a half hours or so. You can plug it in. It has loads of cameras on it as well and LiDAR technology and pass through on this is amazing. But that's not where this excels for me. Where this excels for me is that eye tracking. The eye tracking is just ridiculously good. At first, it took a bit of getting used to just looking at stuff and pinching without actually moving your head because I'm used to using VR headsets where I'm able to look around and you know then use a, my controller to select things and all that kind of stuff. But here, all you have to do is wear this, pinch, and you're good to go. My mind was blown. <laughs> so. I was speaking to board at work and we're talking about, you know, um, honeymoon face. Like, are you still excited about it? So you st are you still using it and stuff like that? And I'm like, actually, yeah, I'm using this quite a lot, more than I thought that I would. For me, the way that I use this is basically for multitasking. So for me, I use this to have, uh, for example, when the Super Bowl was on, I had the my TV at home in the center uh, so I can watch the UK feed of the Super Bowl coverage. And then on the right side, I had Twitter. Left side, I had uh, the US coverage because I love the advertising or advertisements on the US coverage. So I wanted to see all that stuff happening at the same time while I just laid back on the couch and I'm just looking at these things and just enjoying my visual experience and it's very immersive and I got thinking this is just perfect for multitasking the the, the possibilities are endless I come into the studio I link this to my MacBook Pro and off I go I can just have the screen in front of me and edit photos not so much video I know people have tried using Final Cut Pro in this but for me I couldn't get used to doing that with this on my head because I'm, I'm very much interactive with my keyboard and you know my trackpad trying to connect all those things together and using it in a way that I can edit videos very quickly I have no time to waste faffing around so for me that's not quite there yet but it's possible you can link your AirPods uh, with this, you can link, link your uh, trackpad, you can link your uh, Apple Magic key, uh, Keyboard, if you still call that. Uh, you can link it with this and you can get productive in that sense as well, so it's pretty cool. Some things I had to get used to, like I said, pinching and looking around and all that kind of stuff was, at first I had to get used to that before I realised actually this is not bad. But back to how I used it, it's, use this, it's literally for multitasking. I even watch movies on here, but one issue I had when I was watching movies, everything is just dead on in front of your face. So, 
When I lay down, I would usually tend to lay on my side and I was open that this would actually rotate the whole display, the whole user interface as well, sideways, so that I'm almost looking at it like that as I'm sleeping that way, but it didn't do that. So I've ended up just having to lay on my back and then look up and watch it that way because it needs that you know, space in front of you, that spatial experience in front of you to project and display all these things that you need to see, whether it's movies, whatever it is, it's all there. Then the next thing we spoke about was that the weight of it. In fact, the way that I'm holding this right now, my arms are starting to ache because this is actually quite heavy on the face. But I, I like this uh, strap that this that it came with uh, before you have to, you got a spare one as well. But this one that's pre-installed on there, I quite like this. It's comfortable for me. I don't need to tr even try the other one. This just works really well. One thing though is the way that I use this, I tend to sit back with my head rest rested on something. So I didn't start to feel that fatigue of my neck or this becoming too heavy to wear. So that was okay for me, I wasn't too bothered. Where I was bothered though is you got millions of pixels in here for that 4K display. So when I was looking through this, my eyes was overstimulated with the constant movement and all that stuff. So my eyes became uh, tired very quickly compared to my head or my neck actually getting tired. So that was quite interesting. And I think for me, Overall, I think how I use it, I enjoy it. It's good for multitasking mainly. And I see this as a computer on your face where I've started to see myself just picking this up instead of my phone for messaging and everything else that I normally do on my phone. I was starting to pick this up instead of my laptop when I go home to check emails and do extra bits of work. I'm picking this up and doing all those things in here. And I think it's either I'm doing that intentionally or I'm doing it because I spent £3,000 plus on this. But I think the real, real reason why I'm doing it is because actually it works really well and it serves that purpose. So for me, this is computing, special computing, in your face, on your face, however you want to say it. And versus the comp competition on the market, which I haven't used many of them, but I've used some of them. I would like to say those are powerful, they're great too, but I tend to pick this up for entertainment, for gaming and all that kind of stuff. Then after that, I'm done. I put it down, I might not pick it up again. But this one, I find myself picking it up over and over and over again. Yes, some of you are going to call me Apple fanboy. I am not. Um, but this, honestly, this is impressive impressive and the question that it, over all this discussion is basically do I want to keep this is it worth keeping right now there aren't that many apps available um, in fact the native apps works really well compared to other ones for example if you're watching Apple TV uh, a, a program or a movie you can have a full screen display it takes over like a cinema but as soon as you go on like Safari to watch YouTube uh, video you can't take over the whole thing like cinema it's still like this box in front of you to watch your YouTube video. So a lot of the apps aren't developed for this yet, but that's going to come and that takes me back to that original iPhone because eventually when all the apps came to the App Store, it became a really, really useful product that we can't, almost can't live without. So I wonder if that's going to happen with this and when would that come? What iteration uh, would we start to see this become that product where Apple are now having those keynotes every two, three years, whatever, to release the next vision and everyone's just clapping away again. So, but yeah, I think overall my experience is great. I'm definitely gonna be keeping this. Um, I'm not gonna be returning it or giving it away or anything like that because I wanna follow, follow the journey. I wanna see what Apple does with this and where this ends up, where this goes and all that jazz because I think it's exciting and uh, I haven't been excited about a piece of tech in a long time. So it's good to have something to play with again. <laughs> and actually smart using it and also demoing it, demoing it to friends, you know, getting them to use it and seeing their reactions, I think it's quite interesting. But over to you, let me know what you think. Um, just, just a random video about the Apple Vision Pro. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.